Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. It is Brooke with Refab, and I have a really fun little project today that I've been wanting to try, and it involves a big wood slice, wood round, however you wanna call it, um, some rope from the Dollar Tree, some rope, nautical rope, and some little, little bit of scrapbook paper and a couple of these little Jenga block things from the Dollar Tree, okay? You've seen us do a lot of stuff with those and so that's what we're gonna use today and it's gonna be super fun, I think. Oh, and another thing we're gonna use, y'all think I have enough of these? Felt balls, holy cow. Is this not like just beautiful? Does this just not make you wanna just stare and smile? It's just, oh, colorful, goodness. Mm. So we're going to use those too. So that's what we're going to do today. And if you haven't figured it out and pieced it all together, let me fix this. This is kind of crazy. If you haven't pieced it all together, what we're going to be doing, we're going to take this wood piece. I got this from Dollar General. I think it was, no, or maybe it came from Walmart. One of the two, um, for probably about $5, I'd say. And, um, we're going to take this rope and we're going to go across to make a tree then these are going to be our stump but we're going to put some scrapbook paper on top of them so that they're you know fun and have some color then after we um, have our tree and it's just all just neutral we're going to add ornaments to the tree i hope it's cute in my mind it's cute sometimes in my mind something's really cute and then i get it done i'm like yeah that was better in my mind. But I think it's gonna be cute today. I think, think, think. A lot of people are always asking about um, where I get all my felt balls because I buy felt balls two or three times a year because I use them so much. And I buy them in bulk on Amazon's where I get them. So we'll go ahead and drop the link for you on that. <sighs> and um, that way if you are needing some, you can grab some. They're not very expensive. I literally, most of y'all probably won't use them near as much as I do. So you could probably, you know, get by with one for a whole year, but I do use them a lot. Okay, so like I said, and you could do mini versions on the mini uh, little wood slices too, like a ornament or something. You could do a little mini version of this. So, but this one's really, really cute. And then we can put like a little, what we can do, if you wanna hang it on the wall or something, just put a little sawtooth hanger on the back and it'll be good to go. Or you could do um, a hole through it and hang it with ribbon. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. Um, comments should swipe, I don't know. I haven't done anything. I mean, there's nothing I can do to make that um, not happen. So I'm not sure. What I'm gonna do, and like I said, I've not ever done this. So I'm literally just kinda, I'm just kinda winging it like always. I'm just gonna start at the top because I think it just makes sense, obviously, to start at the top. And I'm just gonna start with some hot glue with my trusty glue gun here that will be available at some point, probably after the first of the year. It's so cute. Um, yesterday, I finalized <clears throat> the packaging on it. Cause you know, you gotta have the packaging, you gotta have the writing, you gotta have the design and all that. Got that finalized yesterday. So we're on the home stretch. And then I did the final okay on the looks because I had a couple more polka dots added. This was just the example they sent me. And so I saw some things I wanted to change, got that done. So before too long, it's gonna be in my hands. Okay, so I did a little dot right here and then I'm gonna just kind of come across where it goes just a little bit, just like this. And then I'm gonna glue that down. Y'all be sure to um, sprinkle this video, please. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Cause some of y'all's friends may like this idea and they may want to try it. So here's what I'm doing so far, as you can see. Okay, so just to keep showing y'all, this is what I'm doing. It's just a simple process. Um, it, it may would be even cuter, to be honest with you, if I cut it instead of doing it like this and just did the lines, but I think I'm just gonna do it like this right now, but that's another um, way that you can do it. That would be fun. There's lots of different ways you can make trees. I could make trees every single day during Christmas, every day, and never run out of ideas on how to make trees. 
That's just the easiest and most fun thing for me to do during the Christmas season is make a whole bunch of trees. But I try to have some other ideas besides just trees because I feel like y'all get very sick of trees. <laughs> Um, but maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. Let me know. All right. So this is what we got so far. It's kind of ugly right now. Um, but hey, it's going to be cute. Hopefully this might be, I don't know. This could be a disaster, not a disaster, but you know, but can you see when I add these and I'm going to put scrapbook paper on them, it's starting to look like a tree. So I just got to cut the end. And this was one piece of nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Um, and look how much I still have left. Still have a ton left to do like another craft. Like I could even do another tree on the back. So um, that is awesome. I'm gonna use some of my scrapbook paper from my Whimsy collection. Um, this is just my very favorite, but I'm gonna use some of that to make the uh, base of my tree. And actually the one that I had in mind that I want to use is the green one with stripes. So let me, let me find it in here. Hope it's, I hope I haven't used it all. I don't think I have. Okay, here it is. I'm only using a very tiny amount, but it's the green stripes, like the light green with the dark green stripes. It's a really cute little, this y'all, this scrapbook paper I'm telling y'all is the best. Who on here has this scrapbook paper? The glue gun is not available yet, Trisha, but it will be as soon as they get it done in the manufacturing place. Um, it's probably gonna be after the first of the year. But anyway, I love my scrapbook paper. Love it. Can't say enough good things about it. So anyway, I'm just gonna trace these real quick and then I will cut them. But I do, I love my scrapbook paper. I'm so happy with how it turned out. The quality, spot on like spot on very proud of it i could do it straight across but i don't want to because i do want it to kind of look separate i know that sounds weird but i want it to be two separate pieces all right so let me get my mod podge I'm just gonna mod podge it on that scrapbook paper on okay so i got these on they're cute now i'm gonna just um glue them on as my base and then we'll move on to the ornaments hope everybody had a happy thanksgiving for sure we did we went to three different places um ate so much listen my pants <laughs> Y'all, you crack up because I've got on a really cute sweater right now and I've got my makeup on and my earrings, which aren't these cute, um, and all the things, but I have on pajama bottoms because <laughs> they are more flexible for my growing tummy after um, Thanksgiving. So anyway, hey, it is what it is. Y'all would have never known that if I didn't tell you, but we don't keep secrets around here. Um... All right, this is where we're, what we're looking at so far. It is not done because that would not be very cute, but this is what we got so far. Um, now, I'm gonna pick some cute, bright, fun colors. I'm gonna use pink, and I know this isn't bright, but I really like that color green. I'm gonna use some uh, mustard, and then this color green, because I love me a good Kelly green. Um, red. I'm just picking different ones. Ooh, yes, this, like a bright blue. Oh, a little white would be cute. I don't know how many I need. Um, what else do I want? Purple, it's like a light purple and a light pink. Okay, that's probably about all I need. I don't know. So I tell you what, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna pretend the gold one is a star and we'll put it at the very top of my tree. got my star but I don't even know where my stars are right now to be honest probably got a ton of them so these are my bigger felt balls these are pretty big the ones that y'all have seen me use a lot recently are smaller so I want to show you the difference they're very much of a difference okay I, I use both I've got a ton of the small ones and a ton of the big ones which ones did we link what size were those because 
These are the big ones that I'm using right now. Either one will work for this. In fact, the small ones may work even better because these are really, really big. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and use the big ones because that's the ones I've got. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick, um, <clears throat> I stuck one on the top and then I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna stick them on each kind of corner. And then I may come in and drop a couple in the middle. We'll just have to see. It's starting to come along like I was thinking. Like I was thinking. Let's do red right here. And I may change my mind on some colors and add more. I mean, who knows? Because I'm probably gonna want some in the middle. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm probably gonna wanna fill some in. Uh, in fact, I know I will, but I'm gonna just start with the edges first and then we'll go back. Let's see, white. Purple. Yeah, this is cute with these bright colors. Somebody's gonna win this, y'all. Hey, Beth. Okay, so this is what it looks like if I didn't fill it in. I am gonna fill it in, but this is what it looks like so far. So you can get a good idea. So we got this base with the two little Jenga block looking things from Dollar Tree. We just mod podged some scrapbook paper from my collection on there. And we took the nautical rope from Dollar Tree and did this and glued it on. And then now we're going back and gluing some felt balls on it. Y'all, there are so many things you can do with felt balls. I think I need my own collection of felt balls too. <laughs> Cause I literally use them so much that I should maybe think about trying to get some felt balls for my collection. Hmm, good idea, Brooke. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put this one right here. That one actually, okay, let me tell you. So this one, this green one, I put on the rope. This one, because it's a little bit tighter, I put in between. I don't think it's gonna matter because it, it was just a little too tight right there. Let's see, I'm gonna do another, oh, I'm gonna do this pink one. Do it right here. I actually put that directly on the rope instead of on my, oh, here's an orange one. I didn't see the orange. Do that one right here. And you can always paint the background of your wood slice if you want to, like a fun color. I mean, that's up to you. Let's see. There's just so many colors in these balls. I'm gonna use this bright purple because I only used light purple before. Glue string gets on my nerves so bad. If y'all have a tip for how to not have the glue strings, please tell me. <laughs> Actually, I just got my mouth. <laughs> I told you, it's so annoying. Okay, there, here's another pretty color. It's like a light blue, so we can go over here by the purple. And then we will look back to see what we think. This was a really quick one, y'all. Like, so quick. Felt balls are from Amazon. I feel like, I don't know. I'm gonna just pick it up and show y'all. That's cute. That is very whimsy, and y'all know that I'm a very whimsy person, so not everybody's gonna love this. But listen, there's so many ways. Obviously, you've seen me do the trees where it's just all felt balls. Those are really, really cute, and that would be really cute on this background. But I just thought this was something a little bit different to make it look like ornaments. And so the sky's the limit on what you can use for ornaments. I love felt balls, but um, the... But on the rope, you could use anything that you can think of as ornaments. You can even use the real mini ornaments and glue them on there, anything you wanna do. Um, so it's just a really fun little idea that you can really be creative with and kind of use however you want to. But I think it turned out super cute. So thank y'all for watching. I thought this was really fun, super quick, easy craft that you can take and um, just do, man, take it and just run with it because there's so many options. In fact, I may do another one with another option because I think that would be really cute. So I hope y'all have an awesome day and I will see y'all real soon. Bye guys.